there's a push behind us. That's panic. I crave getting up in the morning. One of the Starbucks drinks. The only whiny man you need in your life is Keith Sweat. Brown sugar, oat milk shake and espresso. The colors are gorgeous. My vibe right here. The dark spots are gone, but it says Gucci on the side. She's gorgeous. I could frame this. Look how vibrant that is. Oh my gosh. It's so posh, right? I remember when we were staring a photo. Don't forget the way you look me in the eyes. And I keep you in my heart. And my heart is where you are. I still think of you. It requires more skill to be still than it does to jump. We jump because we hate the feeling of waiting and sure, there's a push behind us, but it's always gentle. Leaving the comfort zone isn't necessary if peace is in you. There's no need for combat or great exploits in the calm of the personal journey. Success and mastery, adrenaline is not the way. That's panic, survival mode. Stay soft. Y'all, it's so nice out here. Like the air is just so crisp. If you aren't a morning person, try getting up early in the morning and just taking a walk in a nice quiet neighborhood. I guarantee you, you will turn into a morning person. Like I crave getting up in the morning and walking with my husband every morning. Not every morning, but the mornings that we do walk. I enjoy it. All right, so I'm gonna get back into this walk and I will talk to you guys later. I don't have no business eating this, but baby, these are the best donuts in the world. I need a centerpiece for my countertop in my kitchen. I'm tired of looking at that little tray that I got from the $5 section at Target when I first moved here back in December of last year. I'm going to start focusing more on my home and doing little things, little projects around the house. Um, so I want my kitchen and my living room and my bedroom to have cozy, I want like, I don't know what I want y'all. <laughs> I want cozy, warm vibes, but I also want modern and sleek. And I want it to be functional as well. I don't want to have stuff around that I'm not using just because it's pretty. You know what I mean? I'm not that kind of girl. It has to be pretty and functional in my world. So wearing my Givenchy hat here and bag of the day is my little miniature Brandon Blackwood gold bag. And let me show y'all my outfit. The jacket is kind of like a tool little situation. I got this from Zara. I hauled it in a Zara haul recently. The tank top is Target and the shoes are Amazon. They are the dupes to the Hermes slides. All right guys, so I'm also gonna go get another one of the Starbucks drinks. I actually already tried it, but I'm just gonna show y'all. I don't know if y'all are familiar with it. Okay, it's the original black girl in Starbucks. We're about to try this. Let's see what it's giving. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> if you want to try it, girl. All right, so let's go.
but we still do. Y'all, this is when Kanye was Kanye, honey. The grande brown sugar oat milk shaking espresso and I like two pumps of white mocha vanilla sweet cream cold foam if you could remove the cinnamon powder please okay all right what's a good name for the order Stephanie okay thank you When I say Aaliyah was like in her prime when she died, I just loved her. So chill, unproblematic, as far as we knew, you know, on camera. I hate to see good people go. Hi, how are you? There's a bug like, right, you do see him, right? <laughs> It's so funny. I remember growing up around like my aunties and my cousins and stuff. My aunties on my daddy's side were a mess, okay? They were a hoot. They would say anything, which is why I think a lot of my personality comes from my daddy's side of the family. Like when I'm just being silly. I remember my aunt blasting her key sweat. She said, baby, let me tell you something. The only whiny man you need in your life is key sweat, okay? It's so good. Mm. All right, girl, we are at Home Goods. Let's see what they got, girl. I'm so excited. Oh, Lord, is this reserved? This is something I would incorporate in my fall decor. This is cute. And it's $14.99. Oh, here it is in black. That's pretty too. Alright, so I don't know. Nothing here is what I'm looking for. Now I'm annoyed. So they already have Christmas decor out, which is wild to me. What about Thanksgiving? Anyway, these are cute. These are like large to-go cups. I like this one for Christmas time. These are fun. And you can put soup in these and stuff like that too. And they have the quilted towels here. I like these. They're so cute. I like these. They're um, luxury crackers. Okay, this is the only Thanksgiving stuff I see. That's it. That's cute. I like the color. Here's a darker green one. And like a flannel. So that's pretty. The colors are gorgeous. $9.99. That one's $14.99 because it's bigger. a 
huge canvas. Oh my gosh. And it's textured. Can y'all see that? This is gorgeous. You can make your own. That's pretty. I would actually like this in my house. I want three of them. It's like textured, if you guys can see that. It's so pretty. And it's 79. Hey y'all. <laughs> I'm done with fully glassed mirrors like this because the one I had cracked and there's nothing I can do about it. But it's beautiful. It's on sale for $2.49. This is a piece. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Is it heavy? And it's $1.99. This, this is my vibe right here. This is nice. Elephants are my favorite animal. They represent strength and wisdom. It's really subtle. I thought it was gonna be a rich like peppermint scent. And it's made with essential oils. So. The storage bag. Here's one in gray. They also have them in red. I'm a neutral girl, but these would be pretty for the holiday. Okay, so. This would come in handy for some of the Pinterest recipes that I print out. I could put them in here. You're so pretty. <laughs> Thank you. A hater. A hater. That's exactly what it is. All right, girls. So I'm back from Home Goods, and y'all, I got one thing. <laughs> They didn't have a thing in there, okay? Nothing for me. There was some things that I saw, like pictures, and I think I showed you guys. There's an area in my house that I wanna do like um, three pictures, like black and white. Let me show y'all the um, area I'm talking about. So here in my hallway, I got like this bare wall, right? So I wanna do three black and white pictures. I want them to have a similarity, but not be the same pic, you know what I mean? So, because my living room area is black and white, right? So I wanna do black and white on my wall. And I'm gonna take this mirror down and I'm gonna move it somewhere else and I'm gonna put something right here. I want maybe like a textured blank canvas, like the one I showed you guys at Home Goods. I want something like that. And then I wanna put a light over it. So, yeah, I'm gonna move this little piece of wood here. I'm gonna move that. Um, it serves no purpose here, so it's, it's got to go. But um, Sharika B is a good person to look at to get like inspired because her home is always absolutely beautiful. And I need to catch up on some of her vlogs because I think I saw in one of her titles she said she moved, but I haven't caught up on any of her stuff yet. So um, I'm going to catch up on that. And then also Pretty Bree, she has a beautiful home as well. Like I really like their home decor. That's who inspired me to get this little statue guy from Home Goods. And it was actually gray, so I spray painted it white. And also these are notorious in RH. So all I got from Home Goods, <sighs> it's a set of three. They're super thick, which is why I love them. And again, it's that black and white, but it's so sleek. I didn't want to do one that had like a real busy design, but I still wanted to incorporate black and white in my kitchen. So I'm going to put that here. That's my ice maker if y'all hear something. So I got this one from Marshall's. So let's put this one here and see what that looks like. Maybe I need both of them on there because I don't know. Hold on. Okay, let's see. So I like that. Maybe I should have did white with the black lines. 
because I feel like that'll pop better. What y'all think? All right, so with my centerpiece here, I'm going to find a big black textured vase and sit it here and I'm actually gonna get like some greenery coming out of it. Like I want a big production right here and I'm gonna move my flowers to my table over there. Hey girls, so I am going to make me a snack and I thought why not turn on the camera and show you guys what I'm making. So I actually showed this yogurt that I picked up from Trader Joe's in my last vlog, but I want to try it. I've never tried this. It's the Greek non-fat yogurt with coconut cream, strawberries and blueberries. Coconut flavor almonds, some organic unsweetened flake coconuts. And I'm just going to add a little bit of this, adding my hemp seeds. And the star of the show is my drizzled cinnamon granola. Everything is from Trader Joe's. This stuff is so good. I literally eat this out the pack. The second I saw they restock, I should have got two. Dang it. The second I saw they restocked, I grabbed a bag. Yeah, girl, let's make a quick little snack. Here's the bowl. This is good. I'm about to turn my record player back on, listen to my music, and have my snack, and I'll talk to y'all later. I'm back on it. You can put a hundred cramp on it. Anything I said, I stamp on it. In a private plane, I lamp on it. Let the old and the call me bank on it. Cause I walk around with the bank on him. Show them gang, I'm star, put the gang on him. Twist my fingers up on a bang on him. Let the old, let the old, yeah. Tobalo, go macho, yeah. Tobalo, my go macho, yeah. Nobody know tomorrow, choro. Hey girls, I'm about to wind down and I want to come and talk to you guys about um, the Sephora sale and just share a few things. Um, some things that I love that I know I'm gonna re-up on during the sale. Now the sale is supposed to start, cause y'all know they already sent our little cards out, okay? So you actually will get 20% off. So um, before I get into that, do you guys ever use their mask? I get the one for like for my hands and for my feet. My hands are always super dry. You guys know I work in the medical field. I'm a registered nurse. So I'm constantly washing my hands. Even if you're not a nurse girl and you work in the medical field, you already know you have to constantly, especially patient facing care, constantly wash your hands, putting on hand sanitizer with alcohol in it, which dries your hands out even more. So I try to find things that help restore the moisture in my hands. So I found these cucumber masks at Sephora that work pretty well for me. So I'm about to apply that. And then I also got the coconut foot mask. 
and I really like this one. It does soften my heels. I can tell a difference after I use it for a couple days, not just, you know, for the time being. The Summer Fridays lip balms, I'm obsessed, okay? I love these. They also have the mini ones. I definitely want to get them. They're sold out online, so I'm going to check in store at my location. I want it because I have miniature bags like the Brandon Blackwood bag I had on earlier today. This doesn't fit in that bag, so the miniature ones will definitely fit. They will be perfect for all of my mini bags. And I also enjoy the K-Skin lip gloss. Now it's a SPF lip gloss. It's more ideal for summertime, but y'all know in winter, you also catch those UV rays, so you need to be protecting your skin. Always wear SPF. I don't care what season it is. The UV rays don't care either. You better put your SPF on, girl. So this is a good one, and I like the way this makes my lips feel. It actually feels better than the Summer Fridays. I'm not even gonna lie. They feel well moisturized. And I have less peeling, so I really like this one. Y'all need to run to Sephora and grab the new perfume sampler set. You get to try 16 samples, choose your favorite perfume, and redeem their certificate inside for a full-size bottle. This is such a great deal. I would choose the most expensive perfume. Yeah. So, with that being said, I showed that in my last vlog when I saw the samples and I saw that they had a coupon in it where you can redeem for one of the bottles, like a larger size. I was like, this is nice. And I want to say the price, the price. Let's see the price. So, it is limited edition. It's $85. It's $167 value. And you also get 20% off during the sale. And guys, it has some of everything in here. It's so many perfumes I wanted to try that's in here. They are the 1.5 ml little bottles, but again, there's a coupon in there that will allow you to redeem for a 30 ml or 47 ml. Certain ones are 30 and some are 47. Like for example, the Burberry Her is a 30 ml bottle. You can redeem for it with the coupon. The Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue, that's the 47 ml bottle you can redeem for. The Ever So Fresh, that's 30 ml. Tom Ford Ombre Leather, that's 50 ml. Okay, like if you just wanna try something different. Amazon favorites. I'm obsessed with this aloe vera eye mask I found. This is what they look like. And y'all, it smells divine, okay? This is a hydrating, repairing mask. Now, I got this because I had dark circles under my eyes and I used it for a little while just because I wanted to give you guys a real review. I think a product I used kind of like irritated under my eyes because the dark spots had texture to them. It was almost like I had kind of like a chemical peel burn or a scab or something. And I started putting these on and you guys know aloe vera has healing properties. I want to say within a good three to four days, I was like, the dark spots are gone. I could not believe it. So this right here, I've never heard of this brand before, but I will link it for you guys. I'm obsessed. And then I wanted some more eyewear. You guys know I wear prescription glasses. A lot of you guys ask me, are these um, optical? Yes, these are prescription lenses. Um, I also have some Alexander McQueen ones. I have some YSL ones, Gucci. And now I have another pair of Gucci. So I got these from Amazon. And I love the arm on them. It's very subtle, but it says Gucci on the side, which I love. It's not gaudy, it's so sleek. They're cute. So I have a vinyl record player and I love vinyl records. I just think the sound is just so different. It's so crisp and it just feels like, almost like live music. The experience is just different to me. In the process of moving here about eight and a half months ago, I lost two of my vinyl records and so I was on the hunt to find them and I found one. So you guys have already seen it. It is the Jasmine Sullivan one. I love this. So I found this on Amazon and I am so happy. It's something about Jasmine's voice and she does not get the recognition she deserves. So much pain in her voice, like it's just so beautiful. I heard her singing at the age of, I think she was 11 or 12 or something. Baby girl just had it. I know talent when I see it, okay? She just had it in her. She just had it. And I was also able to pick up one more package from Amazon. 
and I haven't opened it yet, so we're gonna open her together, cause. Oh my gosh, she's absolutely beautiful. She's gorgeous. It is Miss Beyonce, honey. Oh, look at this. I think there's two in here, let me see. I did not get to go see Beyonce live and she was here in my city. Um, I actually was working that day and the traffic was ridiculous downtown. I didn't get to go. A fun fact about me guys, Large crowds of people make me really uncomfortable. It's something that triggers me from my childhood. I'm still working on, but large crowds of people make me uncomfortable. So it depends on the type of concert. Like I definitely have been to um, Beyonce's concerts before in the past. I also went to see her with Destiny's Child. Just beautiful spirit on stage. All of the girls, all of them were. Um, so yeah, like a, a old school R&B concert or like a gospel concert. I went to see Jonathan McReynolds and him and Molly Music, the best concert. It was definitely more intimate and I truly enjoyed that experience. My husband surprised me with tickets. I enjoyed that experience so much. That was a good time. Oh yes, honey. So you get this poster on one side. I could frame this and put this in my beauty room. Hmm. Here is the other side. And this one matches my beauty room decor. I hope y'all can this. So I can actually purchase like a black frame and put that in a frame in my beauty room. I don't know, but I like the pop of red. I like that pop of red. And she looks absolutely stunning. You get this too. Okay, what is this? It looks like it's a book of lyrics. Yeah, it has all the lyrics to all the songs in it. So if you are a huge Beyonce fan, honey, it's about to be a Beyonce concert in my house, okay? Me and her real intimate. Look at this. And you can also take pics out of this and put it in frames. Look how vibrant that is. Oh my gosh. Girl. So this is one of the vinyl records. Look at this. I hope my lighting isn't like washing this out. Oh my gosh, Miss Beyonce. Okay, so yeah. And it has every song on the album. This is my favorite look right here. It's so posh, right? And then that is the vinyl record. I'm actually about to get another vinyl record player. I want a brown one. I want one that looks real rustic like the one I grew up with. My grandma, my dad, my uncles, they all had record players and that's just what I grew up on. So I just love the sound of that. Every Sunday morning I would get up, especially my grandma, she had a huge one in her hallway. And every Sunday morning I would hear this beautiful sound in the hallway just playing all of this gospel music. I have a Jonathan Matt Reynolds record by the way, I love. I'll link it below for y'all um, if it's still available. I got that from Amazon too but I would hear this beautiful sound in the hallway and I would wake up to the smell of her making biscuits and grits and eggs it was just such a time like we didn't have a lot but we had enough and it was just good enough I was not an ungrateful child I always was just grateful for the things that I had and because my grandma made it that way like if you don't eat what I cook, you're not gonna eat. It was that kind of thing. So I'm like, Grandma, I appreciate what you did, honey. Mm-mm, cause I wanna eat, you know? So it just reminds me of my childhood. It's just so nostalgic to me. So I definitely feel like a record player is a non-negotiable in my life. I have to have one. I absolutely have to have one. So yeah, I will link Miss Beyonce. I also link Jasmine Sullivan down below for you guys. But I think I scored with the Beyonce one, so yeah. All right guys, so I will talk to you guys in the next video. I love you and I mean it. Bye guys.